Jack Jitter Jack Penguin, and today, oh my god, isn't this room messy? Um, you probably don't see it right now, but you know, today I am bringing you another haul video from a bunch of yard sales that I just went to, um, uh, yesterday, since I'm filming this on Sunday instead of Saturday when I went, and you're probably viewing this on Monday, or you're viewing it on the day I recorded it. I quite don't know yet, I have a lot of stuff that I'm working on. Um, so this is going to be lots of fun. So I went to some yard sales and I got some stuff. I don't know how much I quite spent. Um, you'll probably see that inside the description of the video. But, you know, I'm just going to show off stuff that I got and I'm just going to show off a bunch of other stuff and, you know, it'll all be fun. So let's just start off with the Lego stuff that I got to get that out of the way. So first, I got a Lego Juniors set number 10667, which, um, yeah, this is my first, um, Junior set, which everything was, all the pieces were in there, I just decided to build it just for fun. We got two instructions in there, and we got some stuff, which I'm not going to show off quite yet, and we got some of those extra pieces inside this bag for the set. Which, I'm not going to show any of that off. I might do a little review on it. I don't know yet. Um, you guys can tell me what you want to see in the comments below. That would be awesome. So, the other LEGO thing that we got here today is a LEGO Hero Factory set number 44009. Which, that I built because it was partially assembled when I got it. Which, this is this dragon like character, which this I might do a review on sometime soon, I don't know. Um, but I really think it's cool. He's only missing um, one piece, and also these wings. These are pretty cool, because these wings, you can have them flap like that, and, you know, I'm missing that little thing as shown on the top of the instructions right there, which is that, like, little alien-like thing, which is really cool. And then I also have his extra pieces, which... That's always awesome, so I guess I'm going to see if I could throw them up there, and I'll just have that going on, like such, so I'm going to do that. So that is what I got so far. Um, also included inside here is a couple other miscellaneous holes from stuff, so... Next, I got a Xbox 360 game, Injustice Gods Among Us, which this is um, the first time that I'm getting a cased copy. Otherwise, I did get it from on PS4 um, a while back, which I really like this game. It's pretty fun. Um, got disc in there and all that good stuff. So I guess I'm going to put that right there. That I got for $2.00. That I got for two dollars. That I got for five, which that is rather disappointing. But you know, um, Junior set for five dollars, not really that good. But otherwise, everything else I got for two dollars and two dollars right there. So that is all good. Um, next, I'm just gonna be pushing this stuff a little farther back because next thing I'm probably gonna try and show off in a little bit more detail and all that good stuff because you know that's what I like to do um the next two items are from Harry Potter which you know I'm a huge Harry Potter fan so first we got an Ollivander's wand right here which let me open that up which we got a nice box right there with Ollivander's master wand maker right there which I'm doing sort of like a mini review on this right now so we get like this um nice um uh package right here it also says Ollivander's um shop or Ollivans or whatevs because I think this is from the Wizarding World so inside here I didn't quite take a look at what if there was anything else inside here but we do got a nice wand right here which this is very nice you can see I'm holding that like that you can do some good spell work with that you know it's a fun little play item that I got right there so I'm just gonna throw that back inside here which it's very nice that I got one of these you know I mean, the only other wand that I got from Wizarding World is the normal Harry Potter's wand so that was pretty cool so also in here we got little um uh 
certificate of authenticity, you know, all that good stuff, to, just to say that this is a real wand and all that stuff. It's handcrafted with solid red wood. Wow. Oh, and this is telling me all about the wand that I currently own, so that is really cool. And also we got some of that good stuff going on at the bottom of there with this nice paper. So this I could just throw back in there. It's a nice, light, easy wand, so I'm just going to throw that back at the top, and that goes right on top. So that is the next item that I got, which is that wand, which I'm just going to turn it like that because it shows off what it is with all the other stuff that I got. So the next Harry Potter item that I got is a rather interesting thing that I got for free, which the Ollivander wand I got for five dollars also, so that's another thing to note. So this I got for free, which right now based on what I've been looking at about it is that it's like currently only available in the UK, so it's going for like 115 euros or something like that, you know, it's going for like, say, I'm guessing about like 160 something dollars in the US, I guess, you know, based on Euro conversions and all that stuff, which I totally did not look up yesterday. Um, so inside this box, we got a bunch of these things, which this was a really cool free gift, which I'm just going to take this off, which I already went in here and I just sort of sorted everything based on what we got in here. So these are like special DVDs, which were used inside a special DVD set thing, which this is just the thing that I used to put them together. I don't know if that's right or not, but you know, that's what I had because this had a little bit of Velcro on it. So this is a bonus disc that was included, which if I open in here... This is what we got, which this just also shows all the stuff that's on there inside that. So it's a really interesting thing. I'm just going to bring the light a little closer just so then you can see um, what's going on on here. So I'm just going to flip that like such. Um, also, we got Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, which that's really cool. HD DVD, which that system... I don't have one of those, so that's rather interesting. I think like that that system got like outdated and nobody uses it and all that stuff, so I'm gonna see if I can find one sometime, but you know, otherwise cool stuff, cool collectible box and some collectible stuff inside it. We also got Chamber of Secrets right there. We got the Prisoner of Azkaban right here. We got the Goblet of Fire inside there. And finally, we, but oh wait, not finally, but we have the Order of the Phoenix inside there. And then this is a rather interesting thing to come in here, which this is a DVD game. This is Harry Potter Interactive DVD game, which this is the Hogwarts Challenge, which we have the um, little manual inside here, but this is the disc for it. It's really cool because um, this is a game that you could play on your TV, which I think this is based off like the first like three movies or something like that because like you can see there's a bunch of stuff from like year three and year two scattered around here. Um, it's really interesting. We got a lot of cool stuff, some Quidditch going on, some potion making. I'm selecting your house and getting sorted, but you know, it's a rather interesting game and I know that my tripod is rather wiggly when doing this because I'm doing this on my knees because I have some stuff on my chair that I'm using and I thought this went down all the way the last time I put it in. Oh well, you know what, there we go, that works. Okay, so those were the um, DVDs that we got inside there. Um, next, we got inside that same box, we got this, which is a nice Hogwarts letter with the Harry Potter logo stamped on right there. Which this we can open up and inside here we got some cards that are wrapped inside cellophane which is really cool and I just noticed that there's like more than one put inside like all of these. But based on the front of them we got Harry, we got Ron, we got Hermione and we got Voldemort which that is really cool that we got those and um, 
Based on the back, it looks like we got Professor Quirrell. We got Professor Lupin. We got Professor Lockhart. And, ooh, we got Professor Moody, which it looks like we got a, um, a one from, like, every movie or something like that. We got, like, a bunch of different characters, which is really cool that we got all these um, cards inside here. I don't know if I'm going to open these or just leave them for collector's purposes or not, but you know, one one thing that I really want to do is open it, so if you want to see me open it, then just comment down below and I'll do a video where I open up all of these cards and take a look at all the interesting stuff that I got from this and um, maybe by then I'll have like a DVD player that can play these types of HD DVD um, videos and stuff so and I'll be able to see if there's any good extra content that I've never seen before or whatnot. Um, we got a little um, uh, book for Order of the Phoenix but this is just really telling you how to um, uh, pick your scenes and stuff using the um, special DVD stuff that they gave out. Bunch of good stuff um, uh, Good stuff everywhere. A bunch of interesting things going on in here. Some cast with um, uh, the movies and all that stuff. But, you know, also we got one of these papers um, just for setting up all that stuff. And then all the way at the bottom, we got this box right here, which is Harry Potter Bookmark Collection, which this was rather interesting. Um, so... We take off that front piece and we have this box right here, which I'm going to open up. And then on top of there we do got this, so we can just carefully take that off. And when I opened this for the first time, I noticed that there was one missing. One I had to actually put back inside there, so this is a really cool bunch of bookmarks in here. We got one that is mysterious, which I actually have to look up sometime, which that'll be cool to see what I'm actually missing, because... It's a rather big one. Um, also, we got a broomstick. That might be the Nimbus 2000 or something like that. Um, we got a Gryffindor crest, and we got a snitch, and we've got a big ball of memory stuff and all that good stuff going on from the prophecies and all that stuff. You know, I don't really know what to call it, but, you know, prophecies, I guess. So I guess I can throw that in there. Um, the person who gave me this, um, uh, I went to their yard sale. We also bought a couple other interesting stuff. You know what, before I throw that in, I should put the front piece on there, but, you know, I got this for free, so that was really nice, um, because, you know, nobody ever, no, I don't actually know anybody who owns, um, this DVD format and all that stuff, so it's cool that I got one, so I guess I'll be tossing all this stuff back into the container and closing it up until I find um, uh, whatever I can find and all that stuff. So there we go. Um, Harry Potter um, DVD set or HD DVD set or whatever you want to call it. Um, so that was all the stuff that I got from yard sailing, but you know, I did get some other extra interesting stuff that I'm going to be showing off inside this video. So, you know, I'm these are things that I got near the last day of um, going to my high school 10th grade year and all that stuff. So, these are stuff that I got from my teachers and stuff. So, I'm just going to show that off before I show off my one thing that I got from Toys R Us. So, First, from my most favorite computer graphics teacher, I got this very nice um, Star Wars record album, which I got this for free, which that was very nice, and I really love, like, and it's a good thing that I do have a record player at home, I'll be able to listen to these and all that stuff, so, you know, it's really nice. Inside here, we do have a lot of very nice artwork inside here, you can see, um, that we got um, some stuff inside the Death Star. We get to see um, uh, C-3PO, Leia, R2, 
We also got some, which these are pretty much just a bunch of photos from the first movie of Star Wars. And you can see that this came out around the time that the first movie did. So this came out in 1977, which you can see this very nice Darth Vader art on the back of here. And also inside here we got two of these records inside here, which first one that we got... Right here you can see some of the good stuff that we get to listen to inside here. Um, so I'm just going to flip it over and show you the next side. I'm just being very careful with it because I don't want to scratch it up or anything. You can sort of see the back of the room through these, which is very funny. Um, which these were done by 20th Century Fox and all that stuff before Disney ever got their hands on such stuff, you know. I've got to put this back in carefully because I don't want to ruin it or anything because it's very nice. Okay, so the next record that we got in here is this one, which has a lot of good stuff on it. I'm just going to show you the other side now that we got right there. Okay, so that was all for that. Now I'm just going to throw that in there and I'm going to show off the last of the stuff that I got going on. Okay, so first I'm just gonna throw that back there so then that's nice and all good and stuff. So next, um, for my most favorite resource teacher this year, I got some miscellaneous, some um, mixels which are still in their bags and stuff. So um, I got a bunch of them for free. So also I'm just gonna show those off based on the instructions since most of these I've already built. Um, so first, we've got set number 41540, Chilbo, or whatever his name is, you know, um, it's Mixels, um, it's good stuff. Um, I don't own very many Mixels stuff, so I guess this is good for me, you know. If you want to see a review on any of these um, items, you know, you could just go in the comments down below and all that stuff. Um, so next, we have set number 415. Three, seven, um, Jinky, I guess, you know. I'm not good with Mixel names. They're rather, um, weird and all that good stuff, you know. Next, we have set number 41538, which is Camzo, I guess, you know. This guy. A lot of interesting pieces inside these Mixels. Even if they're not interesting characters, they're definitely amazing parts that you can use for making other mocks and all good stuff. Um, next, which, this one I obviously really like, this is one of the, um, first ones that we revealed back in 2015 for the next series of them. This is set number 41527 Rocket, which, this is a really nice character, I'm happy that I got him. Um, next we have, um, set number 41552, which this is Burp. Which this is um rather interesting character. It looks like he's in some sort of like um food environment. Which these are are all a bunch of different versions of characters. And also one that I haven't opened yet since I already technically own the character, but technically I took him apart and all that stuff. Which next we have Bernard, which this is set number four one five three two. I don't know if I'm gonna build this one or not, I don't know. You know, it's just good stuff. Okay, so finally, the one thing that I got at Toys R Us, which this is a poly bag, which this will be this week's uh, miniature review Thursday, since it looks like I've been getting a lot of poly bags that are new lately. But, you know, this is a sort of older one that came out last year. This is set number 30277, the First Order Star Destroyer, which this is um, uh, a mini set and all that good stuff. Um... So this came out last year. Um, I got this for $3.99 at um, Toys R Us. This was available um, when you bought Lego Star Wars The Force Awakens at um, the video game at um, Best Buy, which I did find that they had extra poly bags at the Best Buy that was near me, but obviously when you had to go out to the checkout, um, they were like $30 a piece, so you know, that, that was just horrible. Um, we argued with the manager and all that good stuff, but, you know, the manager was bad. So, this is all the stuff that I got 
at yard sailing and from my teachers and from Toys R Us and all that stuff. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say for this video. Um, also, at a yard sale, I'm just gonna maneuver this for my big messy room. Still going through that $60 yard sale. Still almost done with, um, uh, Slave 1 from 2006. And I'm just gonna... I did get another one of these so then I could sort some more of my stuff around with it. You know, that'll be good. Um, but, you know, that's pretty much... All I have to say for this video, I'm just gonna bring us back over here. Remember to like and subscribe and hit that bell icon, and I will see you next time. Bye!